but they're they're very well made. You know, this is actually right. encased in a shrink wrap. Yeah, I noticed okay. that. Yeah. Um, that's IGR. Dimes, quarters, halves. Which where where are they starting uh, first? Well, everybody who watches your channel wants quarters because they think they're going to disappear because you keep buying them. How's my favorite local coin shop dealer? Well, we're you know, trying to get things in before the phone starts to ring. It's gonna get crazy, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna fill out the cabinet the way I used to. Putting out some silver? Yeah, I just put some gold out. Whoa, yeah, it's time to put did I miss out. that? A one kilo silver? Yeah, corner. I have to put the kilos on the tray to mm -hmm. spread out the weight. Um, I've oh, managed to glass. drop one on a glass a long time ago, so. Not good. When yeah, that don't do that anymore. <laughs> I think you're trying to entice me with these buffaloes, Tim. I only see two left. Oh, and all this, these silver bars. Wow. I ran out of 10 ounce bars. You did? Mm. Yeah, I had a big order too, so. What are more experienced stackers demanding right now? What are they looking for with silver? Um, Ones that have a stack already established. I can show you orders from a pretty seasoned guy. I had a long conversation with a fellow yesterday who has, um, I think he said 2,500 ounces. It's maybe more than that mm -hmm. of silver. And um, I don't think there's a tendency necessarily to go with smaller bars, but um, hundreds have kind of dropped off the radar. Um, the, the people who have been buying hundreds are really enticed by the kilos. And the kilos are, um, that's from Turkey. I mean, it, it's absolutely beautiful quality. Oh, be careful. Yeah, I know. That's the last thing I want to record. They, they put their certificate like, authenticity. We put uh, them on the verifier before. There's never been anything wrong from Turkey. Not that we've gotten. Um, but they're they're very well made. You know, this is actually right. encased in a shrink wrap. Yeah, I noticed okay. that. Yeah. Um, that's IGR. That's one of the few places. And we did get t kilos from Italy, and they were really nice looking because they're poured and um wow, that is you know they they have a great following but we we couldn't get a follow-up water they just weren't available okay um and it, you know everybody who sees these you know, it's, yeah. so what do you think of the ones from turkey I, said, I think they're beautiful so you know when people come when they see them they like them so um we're just not seeing anything from Sunshine or Highland Men or any of the, you know, the companies we used to do a lot of business with. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I'm not sure what the reason. I think it, it's probably the availability of silver. Uh, that seems to be everybody's problem these days and why most of the stuff comes from overseas. This Man, person is very high. I know. You said that. Probably the highest you've ever seen in your uh Well, it took me what, a week to run out of all the 10-ounce bars that I bought. Uh, I've got about half of the five ounce that I bought. I do have a lot of these, but the fellow who ordered, you know, the big order of them, um, is interested in buying more. We just have to figure out how to get up to them. When you love silver as much as me, it's really easy to get carried away. Sometimes I just can't keep my hands off of a good deal. So when SD Bullion told me that they wanted to give away some silver for free, I was happy to lend my hands, I mean voice, for the cause. Now how much silver are they giving away, you ask? Boom, yes, 500 brand new Silver Eagle coins will be going to one of you. Just click the link below and enter for your chance to be the next big winner. Yep, okay, got it. Um. The deal is to get them made and get them out the door. I mean, nobody's spending a lot of time, um, you know, saying, well, should we change the design? Or, you know, it's just stamp and get them out the door. The, the demand is way too high for them to be holding on to them for a while. 
it comes from a, a major company because they're encased in sheets. Mm -hmm. um, they're well sealed. You can see that the seal around the coin is different from the backing. Oh, so yeah. They're, they're, I we we normally that. cut them on a paper cutter. It's right. easier to do that. And there's plenty of time oh, yeah. to do that. Um, would you say keep them in the seal? I would. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, remember the old seals for the Engelhardt seals or Johnson Methy seals? They harden, they crack. And then you get some nasty toning on the on the bar. Yeah. But um, this is a little softer. Uh, when we get the you know the two by two, these are plasticized. The um, the ones you put around rare coins are unplasticized. But this is I don't think it has PVC. No, no. it has no. some, something uh, some other plastic that keeps them soft. Right. The um, the hardened ones. You have both. Which are guaranteed not to, you know, tone anything mm -hmm. ever. Um, they are a stiffer plastic, and sometimes, sometimes when we're separating them, you know, if the if the the um, channel or the whatever they they uh, break apart on is not cut through, they might rip. It's easy to rip these, especially in the winter time. It's really easy to rip them. So are those older style. Than these? Uh, no, I think these are newer. These are newer. But these are called unplasticized. Okay. You've seen some collections come in over your your years oh, that have just destroyed the, old, the, the old coins. The PVC. Yeah. It, it leaves a green film on the on the coins, and it, it if you send it out for certification, especially the copper, it'll come back PVC damage. Okay. Um, I have you know seen collections where. Uh, we took a Q-tip and some xylol and took the green off, the silver now. I don't know how effective it is with copper, but on the silver, you take a Q-tip and some, something like xylol and pick up the green. Um, it's fine. Okay. Okay. It doesn't get in the metal at all. Um, but if you leave it on there and send out to be certified, it like they come back with PVC damage. But this stuff doesn't do that. This does. This is, you know, but it, it's really stiff. Yeah, and um, I mean it's great. The gold coins look great in it because it's it actually is clearer than, than the plasticized. You can see that. I don't know if you you can notice a difference, but uh, it actually is a little cl little clearer. That is. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I you know it's uh, yeah I I'm more inclined to use the plasticized because uh, it gets in the wintertime, Sometimes it gets pretty cold in here. And then when I take coins out and, you know, I'm going to move it around because it's not quite straight, you know, thing cracks. So, but, again, for, for viewers, the, this stuff, the harder, uh, firmer stuff is called? Unplasticized. Unplasticized. And this is plasticized. plasticized. Thank you. <laughs> you cannot keep the 10-ounce um, uh, bars in stock at all. And, you know, if I order 40, somebody's going to come in and want 20. Mm. If I order 30, somebody's going to want 50. I mean, it's, it's that, that way. kind of demand. And it yeah. takes a long time to get them in here. Um, you know, one reason may be that they're, they're coming from Italy or Turkey. Mm -hmm. um, I like both of those bars. I'd l love to have some of the ones that we've been getting for the last um, 30 years, but they don't seem to be coming out anywhere. And that may be, let's say they're made in California. They're probably not getting out of California. They can make the <laughs> same number that they've always been making, and who knows? The right. demand may be that high that they just don't go anywhere. Um, that one that we used to use a lot was uh, Highland Mint. I haven't seen anything from Highland Mint this year. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's already June. What's that one down there? Another that's Italian a, one, right? That's Italian, yeah. Ita Preziosi, I think it's called. And I'm not very good at Italian, but... Pretty good. <laughs> went to Italy in 2016, and in the cities, lots of people speak English, but we were up in the north, and um, every time we ran across somebody who was a clerk or somebody, said, I'm so glad you're here because I'm working on my English. <laughs> I'm saying, thank you very much. Yeah. How about constitutional silver? Are you seeing... A demand for that from big, in, big increase. Big okay, increase. Yeah, and and what would it be? Dimes, quarters, halves. Which where where are they starting uh, first? Well, everybody who watches your channel wants quarters. 
because they think they're going to disappear in case you keep buying them. No, right? Um, <laughs> it, it used to be the dimes because they were smaller and they're probably going to be more useful in a barter economy. Mm -hmm. um, but more often than not, it's halves because it's easier to do the math. Um, they're easier to store. Uh, takes less to make you know, a $10 tube. But um, the halves are what are disappearing. And, and the only reason I say that is because the wholesaler charges more for the halves. Uh, the next time I order them, I think they're going to be the same across the board. And it looks to me like the, the price is going to be 25 across the board and may even go higher. Oh and my. I think it may go higher soon. All right. So back to bars. Cause I, there's I had no a... petroleum in them. Say that again? There's no petroleum in them. So that's not the reason the price is going up. It's strictly <laughs> supply and demand. <laughs> All right, I have, I have people asking me about this a lot. You know, Yankee, do I get into the bars? Well, the bars are actually quite a bit cheaper than in like an American Eagle or Buffalo. Oh, absolutely. Um, mm. they, they store well. Mm. They're, you don't have to worry about them getting dinged like, mm -hmm. you, like you do with your, you know, if you're throwing a, a bunch of uh, maple leaves in a box or buffaloes in a box, they might get dinged because they're 24 karat. Who's throwing 24 karat maples in a box, Tim? Uh, every now and then we get some fool in here. <laughs> <laughs> I say, yeah, I would give you, you know, 25 to 30 dollars over melt, except for that big gouge on the cheek. <laughs> yeah, that I, I, all right. So I do like coins. For a variety of reasons. I'm not 100% against bars, but it's not my first choice. And a huge bar. This, this isn't as liquid, right? This is tougher. You've had people in your shop well, saying, I want to convert yeah. my large bars to small bars. We actually started on that conversation and never really got that far in it. That's right. People who have been buying 100-ounce bars are more inclined to step down to buy kilos or 10-ounce bars. Um, kilo buyers are kind of a small and passionate group um and it, it's a good size it it's a little harder to do the math because it's 32.15 etc etc um troy ounces right but uh i think people are concerned about the larger bars in the case that you know silver zooms goes up to 50 dollars an ounce now you've got a, a lot of silver in your hand and uh so how do you buy something with it or you know we do sell a lot of one ounce, obviously. Mm -hmm. One ounce bars and rounds are probably the most popular. But the 10 ounce bars are harder to keep in stock than anything else. And I do have a lot of fives. Um, I, I put out the 10 ounce bars, the five ounce bars, and people have been opting for the 10 ounce bar. It just, it's a very pretty bar. Um, I don't have any more to show you. <laughs> Looks exactly like the five ounce, just bigger. Yeah. And, um, Again, that's from Italy. Um, I think their their decision to, um, you know, make them in a poured bar is yeah. probably a good idea from the standpoint of business, where it costs less to make a poured bar. Right. Um, that's poured. That's pressed. Yeah, or yeah. Extruded, extruded. I think they call them. But <laughs> whether or not that's it could be pressed in a mold. Yeah. Um, the other thing is going back to the Engelhard Johnson Matthew days. They serialize everything. Yeah. And that's been missing on mostly American stuff. Um, just, and, you know, that's the thing. No, there's no reason to serialize a one ounce or a you know, coin or anything like that. But the bars, um, be, considering how popular Engelhard, Johnson Matthew were, and Canadian Mint were back in the day. Um, you know, the, the serial number lads, uh, lad, lends a lot of authenticity and That's true. Um, comfort. You get some trust, added trust there. You do pay extra for that, though, right? Those are well, those you do now because they're not making anything. I know. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> there's desire yeah. demand. You got to pay a lot yet. more for an Engelhard poured bar. Simple as that. And Johnson Matthews, same thing. And Canadian Mint, yeah. you know, the older Real. bars are they're RCM. Yeah. And I, we haven't seen many bars at all in the last two years from Canada. Mm -hmm. I know they're making 10 ounce bars. We just don't see them. And well, they, they say they're on a production slowdown now. So we probably won't see any for a while until demand 
mm -hmm. reverses. I don't think it's going to, but it, it'll slow a little bit. So top three demands from more uh, established stackers, you would say? Here comes another reason why I never have any 10 ounce bars in stock. Oh boy, we got somebody coming in right oh, behind yeah, me. Huh? you met. All right, well, uh, would you say bars? Constitutional? Maybe rounds? Um, 10 ounce bars and constitutional are close to being the same. But constitutional is um, because people um, assume they can get them for less for a local, from a local dealer. That's true. Until, I mean, you see what's in the hallway there. I oh, buy yeah. bags, uh, you know, $500 bags. I'm buying, you know, two or three at a time. And we move a lot of it. Mm -hmm. um, even through the mail, even you know with the additional weight, we send everything in a flat rate box. But um, it, it, it's gonna run out. The 90% the, the junk silver, constitutional, whatever it is, is going to run out. And you can't say that yet about the bars, so. Okay, interesting. That's why they're kind of, they're both really popular. And, and some people who used to buy 100 ounce bars are now buying 10 ounce, you know just to make things more difficult for the dealer. Like the guy behind me? Yeah. Okay. I resemble that. <laughs> You're here to buy bars, aren't you? Yes, sir. Oh, boy. So this is the perfect example. If you're coming in, you're taking away his bars. I thought that's what he was here for, but that's just me. <laughs> that's just the that last one. You know, if I get them in on Tuesday, they're gone by Thursday. It's, it's really amazing. So it's you, good, though. So, so, yeah, we've been talking about bars, yeah. silver bars. You like silver bars. Yes, I do. Now, haven't you also been downsizing a bit with the bars? Haven't I've, we talked about that? I've been in silver for 30 plus something years and I started buying back then when 100 ounce bars were 20 cents over spot. Wow. So it's cheaper then but now looking at what's coming down the pike I'm breaking them down whenever I can just because I think they'll move easier when stuff happens. Yep. We were talking about what the more experienced stackers are targeting right now. Can you give me one or two that you, as an experienced silver stacker, are targeting other than the smaller bars? Is that it? Smaller bars, I'll do rounds, but okay. I personally, for me, I stay away from the Eagles and, and the Canadians only because of the, the profit. I mean, when you start, the amount of money you throw into them, you can get that many more ounces on the bar. For me, it's you're, a, you're, going, your for, you're going for yep. weight. You're Correct. stacking for weight only, really. Correct. Absolutely okay. right. All right. Now, I will at some point <laughs> have to probably swap to kilos because that'll probably be the only thing that's around. But well, you know, I see that. I, I, I you know, huh? Is that 32 and a half? Ounces, uh, yeah. 32.15. That's close. Kept thinking it. Just, just want to take a look at it. <laughs> that, ain't, that ain't right. That ain't right. That's just, you know, you've been doing this way too long. That's nice. Isn't that nice? That really it's is. sealed up nice. Absolutely. Shiny. Yeah, that's really cool. That's any silver. It doesn't matter. I know. It, All right. Well, it does matter. <laughs> oh, this is, this is like Christmas, Tim. What? <laughs> it's not your Christmas. I know. Well, I don't know. I'm enjoying this, buddy. <laughs> not my Christmas. 